the drama coming off you at the moment, by the way. Right, you're not the one being left. Um, okay, abandonment issues. How are we doing today? Not great. <laughs> not great. <laughs> Let me not, tell you. It, I'm also... But you're the one of, doing the leaving. Yeah, I'm the one... <laughs> I feel like you're divorcing me. Oh my God. Can I have half of that painting? No, you can't have <laughs> half of Arthur. Oh, I love the name. Great name for him. I know. We need to update everyone on what's been going on because been we were like, yeah, on. we're coming back. Yeah, we're coming back. And, and then we, everything went to shit. It's going to be so regular. We're going to be doing it once a week. And then we went silent. Everything gave up on itself. <laughs> yeah, including your... Mac. <laughs> Everything decided to. I'm just gonna put my snacks down. <laughs> Holly's been eating again. Yeah, well, at least they're away from me at the minute. I'll just be slurpy slurping. I feel <laughs> like background. my laptop did the equivalent of what you're doing me to me. It, it walked out. Corrupted of me. and broke. It, it corrupted. <laughs> and what I'm so annoyed about. <laughs> Is that we lost probably one of the best episodes we've ever recorded. I know. And the we, we have so many updates about them, don't we? And I can't even remember because it's been so long. Hang on, when did we put out the last episode? January the fourth. Was it really? Yeah. Oh my god, was it re- look, I have to we are the last thing in my Apple podcasts. Wow. Sixth no, that's not correct. <laughs> it was when whatever Wednesday it was. We have been in this series since <laughs> September last year. <laughs> well. 3rd of January. 3rd of January. I was close enough. Yeah. So that following week, we, we recorded one of our best episodes uh, and lost it. I lost it. Literally the next day. <clears throat> Should we get started? Let's get started. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, I'm going to have to find the intro music and everything. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. <laughs> hey, hi, and hello. Welcome to Hold My Beer. My name is Holly. Hi, I'm Harry. Um, I am joined by <laughs> Chief Abandoner, <laughs> my co-captain, my permanent guest, <laughs> the purple head... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> Dinosaur. The purple haired, combat boot wearing <laughs> dinosaur skulking about the office, my best friend. Uh uh-uh, uh, you missed what? out one. Did I? Yeah. Purple haired, combat boot wearing dinosaur. Dinosaur. Skulking about the office. Skulking but about the office. There's a new sticker that you insist on using every time right, I send let, a message. You're correct. You're right. You're absolutely right. Let me try again. The territorial crab. She is. The. <laughs> Purple haired, combat boot wearing, <laughs> territorial crabbed dinosaur skulking about the office. My dear friend Holly. She's I, not got purple hair, by the way. I just want to make a note. She yes. Did. Number one, I do not have purple hair. Number she two, did. those combat boots are now in the bin. Thank God. Number three, the territorial crab is a sticker that Harry's made out of a photo that he took of me wearing my silk cap, doing an impression of Norbit's Rasputia. <laughs> And honestly, I'm going to post that to the social meds. Do it. I honestly, if anyone could Im- imitate one spun- SpongeBob, <laughs> the SpongeBob meme, <laughs> better than I can, I will be very impressed. Even that foot is correct. <laughs> I practice. <laughs> I'm going to post both of these stickers to Instagram. Yeah, enjoy, take because them. Because they're fantastic. Use them, guys, use them. So, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. A lot has happened. A lot's changed. <laughs> Holly's jobless. <laughs> Until next week. Technically on annual leave for two days. <laughs> and then I'm jobless. And then you're jobless for two days. And then I'm jobless for one day, and then I'm back in. Tag teamed. In I go. I start a new job on Monday, guys. And in that time, she's leaving me. As, well, yeah, because I, you're the only person I have here that is involved in my life. I understand completely. It's just very hard. Yeah. This divorce is going to be very hard on me. All the northerners that listen to us, I will be moving back towards the north. I'm coming. 
I'm, I'm so excited. I am really excited to actually be going, like, I haven't been home for 17 years. I mean, you visited. Uh, well, yeah, I visited. I've not been away like that. <laughs> I've been banned from the north. <laughs> you were at war. <laughs> God. <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> Um. <laughs> so Holly has found herself in a predicament and she is making the courageous choice to move back up north <laughs> and leave me. I feel like this needs a little bit of a bit of a, a more story to it. So Okay. Um we obviously recorded our episode um at the start of the year or yeah. just like around Christmas we recorded it, didn't we? Yeah. And we were, went on Christmas leave. I come back off of Christmas leave, had a mix. <laughs> also, we made such grand statements in our first episode and we <laughs> do, you, do, do you remember the christmas before and we went we're not making resolutions and then one episode no. later we're like my resolution i know <laughs> literally um anyway so uh i come back i come back into work and uh we obviously the, the business is quite big that we work for or worked i work <laughs> um, that harry, harry now works for alone um <laughs> And it recently went through a merge with another business to become even larger. During that time, what tends to happen is they look for um, alignments in roles. They look for things that were... Right, this is a long way of saying Holly's been made redundant. No, but I like to, I like to kind of, yeah. I think you're giving too much about away for the place I work. Fine. <laughs> I don't think so. It's not like I've gone, they're this business. Right, that takes no amount of Googling to find that. (laughs) Doesn't it? If anyone is able to launch an investigation on Google like I am, they will know what that business is. All they have to do is look on your LinkedIn because you are a brand ambassador at the moment. (laughs) I am an official mover and shaker, I'll have you know. (laughs) Basically, I'm being made redundant from my role because I don't do enough. And... (laughs) Whereas I'm the opposite. I actually need another one of me. Because I stay quiet enough that people have forgotten about me. And <laughs> But in that, they've also noticed you and gone, and they've gone who? who? What does she do? <laughs> who that? Um, so I went through the redundancy process. Awful, by the way. Um, so every business handles it differently, but it was horrible. Yeah. Um, and today was my last day. It was my last day working in the business handed in my laptop um, handed in my badge and i left bye felicia's (laughs) see you later no Um, you just need to wait for the ndas to run out (laughs) and then i'll be saying no no, i'm joking (laughs) no i still want that Um, um yeah so uh so that's that's that that is an end end of an era end of and an area in that you have decided it was the push you needed yeah i'm taking it as a positive a yeah. massive positive oh, I think it is a positive um for you. and i'm not i'm not bitter about it because i understand i get it you know businesses needs to yeah. change i always think it's not a personal decision it's a business decision 100 percent. um sometimes it's personal but i'm not i'm hoping not with me not in our case well maybe because i don't like anybody 23 people is all I sent a little bye-bye email to. (laughs) Out of 40-something thousand. (laughs) I don't work directly with 40,000, but I probably work with a lot of people (laughs) I should have put in there. And I was like, only put in the people that I kind of like. Fair. um, Yeah. So I've now left there, which is... I I was there for seven seven odd years, seven and a half years. and, And it was... Give me loads of opportunities. I'm pleased to have been there and I'm pleased to be leaving. Um, I was at the time once. <laughs> I mean, you were very for the company when I first met you all yeah. those years ago. Bleed blue. Yeah. Well, not now. Silent thunder. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just a fart. <laughs> I've still got that pinned. <laughs> I like to trot it out every so often. No, I, what I have pinned in our chat at the minute is your Peter Griffin impression, which, by right, the way... Wait there. <laughs> wait there. Because at the moment, it. we seem to have gone through a family guy stage at the minute. Where is it? Oh, it's not pinned then. Why is it not pinned? Because you unpinned it. I didn't unpin it. Hmm. I don't even know how to pin or unpin. Hmm. For someone that's very tech savvy, that sounds like a lot. Do you know how much I felt like an old person recent lock chat? I don't want to do that. Oh. Start message. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
just showed me is washy washy <laughs> listen here washy washy <laughs> what's this i don't know what this voice note is but it's starred hi darling i just wanted to let you know that i'm home nope <laughs> nope. i don't know what that is but I don't, what's this say hello to harry Hiya. nope <laughs> we have a lot of starred me- oh what's this you star them could you imagine me as a northerner? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. And you literally just a moment ago said when you were going to come visit next <laughs> that, oh, I get to practice my northern accent. <laughs> no, not what. Right. So my birthday's coming up. And then he up. went, am I going to get stabbed? Holly's not happy about the fact that I'm going out with other friends for my birthday. Mm. So I said, how about I come up to, how about I come up to the north? <laughs> and we'll do something and holly said do you want to go out and i said no and then i said do i need to use my northern accent and i said no <laughs> <laughs> so i said i'll take you to the posh part okay which is like the common areas here <laughs> so <laughs> so you don't wear loafers do no no okay okay no um Basically, this is all a really long roundabout way of saying, because I feel like you don't want to address this situation that you're leaving me. Right. No, I don't want to address it. I'm not ready. We have clung on to each other so hard this last three months. We really have. We've gone through full divorce stages. We've overcompensated. Mm. We've not grieved. I think I did a little bit at 70 miles an hour. Not a good idea, by the way, because you started saying nice things to me, and I was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And then, and then I started crying. You started crying, and then I was like, "You can't do this in the car, driving full speed in the outside lane, literally doing 70 And then you rang your mum, and your mum couldn't deal with us. Oh my God, she was so unhelpful. But we had a great dinner. We had a great lunch. I loved my cider. Mm. That was a fun. <sighs> so you're back up on up to north. Yeah, I leave in three days. Two days. Two days. <laughs> Day and a half. Um, and I've got a view. What house. time are you leaving? Uh, late at night because someone's oh, okay. going to pick up my furniture. So oh yeah. I've got a house viewing um, on the Friday. Yeah. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I. Who's the gardener. Oh, why did you point? <laughs> because I thought you'd want to see him. No, I saw him. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. So the. On the Friday, I've got house viewing. Yeah. So fingers crossed, they like me. It's just kind of like an interview thing. Basically, you're homeless at the moment. No, <clears throat> I am not homeless because I've got my house to the end of the month. I'm going and I'm seeing, I'm staying with my mum. Yeah. For a while. A while. <laughs> a while. Um, while I get a house up north um, and I'll be doing that. Yeah. So, and she bless her. She's sorted out all the room for me and Moo Moo. She's, um, she's done so much and she's, and I haven't, bear in mind, and anyone that is an old adult, <laughs> like me, I'm 36 years old. I never in my life thought that when I left my house at 19, I would be living with my mum again. And we, if I, if you ever see me as a wanted person, mm-hmm. don't be surprised. It'll be, it will purely be because me and my mum are at war. <laughs> And it won't be a nice war. It'll be post-it note, passive aggressive war. And it'll be, she strangled me. <laughs> you were on the phone to her the other day when I was with you. And she said something and you, I don't even know if you know, you said it and you went, now write it on a post-it note. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said to her, because I said, and I, I'm trying to be as considerate as possible. And I said to her, because yeah. me and my mum clash a lot of the time. And when, and I yeah, was. Yeah, I think and, most. It, yeah. Yeah. When I was 18, 19, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bitch. I was horrible. Mm. I was a horrible person. Um, and I acknowledge that now because I'm older and I can look Is back Is that when it started? Yeah. When does it end? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, and so... I, I said to my mum, I said, I'm going to be more considerate. I'm going to literally like try my hardest to, you know, do something. I said, I just don't want to feel like I'm walking on eggshells and I don't want to feel like um, I'm constantly intruding or I'm constantly annoying you or anything like that. I said, and but the one thing you, you need to know is that if you're going to have a whinge at me or lecture me, I'm not going to listen. And I said, the best thing you can do 
is write it on a post-it note. Do you know what this woman went and did? She went to a stationery store and bought about 10 packs of post-it notes <laughs> in preparation for this. Fantastic. <laughs> she was like, and she even said, didn't she? I've got, I've got my post-it notes. Literally said it to me. And I was like, right, fine. Right on a it was just note. the way you clearly had enough whatever she was saying. And you just went, I'll write it on a post-it <laughs> note. <laughs> but it works for me because I've got something and I've got, it's like putting on a to-do list and I'll just write, I like cover <laughs> I'm going to cover the wall. You do love a list. I do love a list. If I've learned anything going through your notes, <laughs> is that you love a list. <laughs> You've got lists for lists. Right. You're as bad as me. You're as bad as me making a plan to make a plan to be spontaneous. <laughs> <coughs> do you know what I've just realised? Sorry. No, you're fine. Is that we never talked officially about my car accident. <gasps> Right, we never talked. <laughs> because that was in that the was episode in we lost. Did we talk about the cats? Yeah, we talked about the we cats in the first the episode back. Did we talk about anything else? Um, I remember we talked about Nick a lot. I don't really know why. As in... The man that doesn't exist anymore. Well, he does to me. What? Nick. From work. Oh! I thought we were on about Nick. Who's Nick? The Oh. Mm. Yeah, no. The the weird date. No. <laughs> gonna, I don't even want to talk about it. We're gonna skim over that one. Yep. Um <laughs> So let's let's rewind a little bit. Where do we want to start? <laughs> Because it's been almost three months. Well, it's been over three months since we last put anything out. Right, let's start with your drama. Car accident. The car, the car accident. Because I feel like that was the turning point. Of what? <laughs> How, basically, Harry really wanted a new car. <gasps> I did not commit insurance fraud. <laughs> That is an accusation that I keep hearing and I'm not here for it. I'm not saying you committed insurance car. I'm saying uh, insurance fraud. You think I'm... I would have written off like 180 grand's worth of cars in one night? You didn't mean to. Well, I didn't mean to, but <laughs> it happened. Okay, let's rewind. <laughs> to the 19th of December, 2023. Six days before fucking Christmas. Right, the first thing you need to know about anything is that it rains here a lot. Right? Yeah, like to the never point, before. And we spoke about this previously when you took yeah. nine hours to get home, didn't we? <sighs> and it was basically flooded. Yeah. Everywhere was flooded. Yeah. And the, because where you live, it is a village that Well, I wasn't even here. Around, oh no. It wasn't even here. It was near my parents. <laughs> We're just going to carry on. So I left my mum and dad's house one night. It, it rained a lot, but I thought it's okay. I'd filled up my car with fuel left my parents, and I thought, ah, I won't go down this road because I know how bad that gets. I'll go down this road because I went down this road the other day with Holly, and it was fine. <laughs> so there I am, pootling along at 30 miles an hour. Pootling? Yes. Pootling. Mm-hmm. Made a word. It's not. Okay, Have carry, a Google later. Karen. Um, it's probably singing like Miley Cyrus or Adele or something. Um... Also, have you seen those TikToks where it's like, when you're in a car accident, things still play? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I love it. Um, and I come round a blind corner and the water kind of comes up onto the windscreen over the car. In the split second it took for the windscreen to clear, I thought I'd hit a tree or something or I'd hit, I thought I'd hit something. <laughs> no, I'd hit water. I had flooded my car. The car just slowly went... Vroom. <laughs> I tried to turn the engine over once and heard it just go slosh. So I thought, not doing that again because it will completely fuck the car. At this point, I get a video of you trying to... Well, get... We're not even to that Are point we not? yet. Nope. So and I, I'm, there's like a five second thought of me going, what do I do? What do I do? I can't, I can't get out the car. Like I can't open the doors because the pressure from the water on the outside is so <laughs> is how high. It is? It's like really high. It's like your arch is on your wheel, isn't it? It was, it? yeah, it was yeah. over the wheel. And so a blind corner, blind corner. And I'm sitting there and I call my mom. She doesn't answer. I call my dad and I'm, 
and he answers and I'm like, I don't know where I am. You need to track me and just come and find me. And then I call my brother-in-law because at first I couldn't get hold of my dad. So I call my brother-in-law and I'm like, oh, please help me. Because they've got a Land Rover. Because they they all have really big cars. And my brother-in-law has a lovely... Range Rover. Range Rover. Land Rover. Yeah. Had a lovely brand new three-month-old Land Rover. <laughs> so my brother-in-law, John, he's en route to come and find me. So is my dad. Except the water is moving so quickly... You've drifted, haven't you? I've drifted. Yeah. The water has gone upstream for another 250 yards. When does it start coming into your car? Because that, Immediately. Immediately, okay. It's coming in from everywhere. It's coming in from the doors. It's coming in from the vents. It's coming in from fucking everywhere. So the only thing I can think to do is, I, because I can't open the door, and I thought, I had this split second memory of seeing this video where if you don't open the windows or anything, it just it's basically like a bubble, and I would just be carried off in the current. So I literally, and I could feel the car starting to move. So I put all the windows down. And I could literally feel the car go clunk as it hit the floor. Mm. And I had to climb out through the window and sit on the roof. And then I get a video. And then Holly gets a video call. Battery. Um, I get a video call that's basically... No, it wasn't even a video call. It was an actual video. I've still got the video, which is oh, yeah, like wasn't, you I showing think I was, me. Yeah. You were showing me exactly what was going on. I rang you um, at yeah. some point after that. And that's where you're like, I'm stuck in my car. Because I'm like, firstly, I'm, a- I'm freezing. I, at some point I'd had to put my, I'd had to stand on the ground mm. and the water was up to my knee. Mm. And I'm six foot three. And it was like up to my knee. And so then I've I've got back onto the roof and it is... Minus one, I'm soaking wet, and I'm cold. Six days before Christmas. Six days before Christmas, and no one can find me. I had never felt more alone or scared. Oh, well, actually, no, I have. As well, and it's it? pitch black, and all I can hear is, like, rats fucking jumping <gasps> through the water. <laughs> Eventually, I see these lights come around the corner, like, half a mile ahead, and I realise it's my dad, and I'm, like, doing everything. It's like, no! Nah! Stop. As I'm on the phone to my mum, my mum's like, you can't find him. I'm like, I can see him. Tell him to go back. Go back. <laughs> so he then turns around to go elsewhere. And I see my brother-in-law start to come toward me in his lovely Land Rover from around mm. the corner. And I'm like, no, don't come any further. But he just keeps coming. And thankfully, it's a really big car. And it has this it's wading mode. Car. It's a beautiful car. It has this wading mode, which I hadn't realised. Which it tells you, because it, of the car it is, it tells you how deep the water is mm-hmm. that you're in and how much more safely you can go through it. And he was safe, wasn't he? He was safe. He was absolutely fine. When he got to me, it, it was it, it was fine. Mm-hmm. So I hopped out of mine. The electrics completely died. The alarm was going off. The lights were all going off, but I couldn't lock the car. I couldn't close the windows. Mm-hmm. And the car was just filling with water. So I get in with John. As John goes to pull away... Reverse, doesn't it? Yep, as he tries to reverse, the car slips into a pothole. And so he goes to slowly put his foot down some more, but all that does, because of how strong the current was from the water, because it was just moving upstream, the current with him trying to reverse was pushing the car into the ditch, by which point we were then on mud. He tried to put his foot down a little bit more, and the car just went full nosedive into this ditch. Don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. <laughs> I, I, I don't even, yeah. And so... You couldn't write it. I could not write it. You and so we're it. literally ringing everyone we know that has a tractor. And we're like, just get here. Like, literally screaming down the phone. Because I couldn't even give shit about my car. That's already mm, done for. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we're it's sitting... It's sister's brand new and car. And it's my sister's brand new car. And we're sitting there and suddenly everything goes off. And it's fully electric. Isn't it's it, fully eventually? electric. the The boot won't open. We can't re- we can't release the tow bar because it's electric and it lives under the vehicle. We can't put it in gear. Nothing. Nothing's working. Everything is gone. Mm. And so some friends finally come and rescue us in their Land Rover. And they've got a proper tow hitch on the front and everything. But we're like, how are we going to release the tow bar? So I have to quickly Google. Thankfully, there's an emergency release. Mm. So John has to climb through the entire cabin to go and release the tow bar, which you just heard go, <laughs> and just fight for its fucking life. <sighs> we finally got towed out, and I've got pictures, and I 
felt like I was being pulled away from the Titanic, seeing mm. my car just sitting there drifting in the water <laughs> with its lights still on, just flickering off and on. <laughs> and I felt like I could hear Celine Dion in the background. <sighs> Finally get to a safe point. And thankfully the Land Rover is still drivable at that point. Mm. John's able to get it in gear and get it home that's like a mile away mm. to theirs. However, he got it to the driveway and that is where it just died. Completely the thing died, locked it? up, it seized. Everything. They nearly had to get a crane to lift it off the driveway. Oh, didn't they drag it with like four they had batteries? To, yeah. of, they so drained. they ended up using four industrial sized batteries that are supposed to uh, power one. Just one of these batteries is supposed to power an 18 wheeler lorry. Lies. Lies. <laughs> they used four and all it did was set the alarm off. Oh, didn't the lady ring up? Oh my god, yeah, Land Rover called my sister because the alarm's going off to say your car's being stolen. My no, sister's no. like, no. No, it's not. Can you turn the alarm off? But then it had died again, so they couldn't turn they couldn't send the signal back to turn <laughs> the alarm off. So the alarm was going off for an hour and a half. In the end, because they have a 14 car driveway, it had to be dragged yeah. across that entire driveway. I remember the pictures. And if they didn't drag it, they were going to have to get a crane to come and crane it out because it's a three-ton car, three-and-a-half-ton car. The best thing... Yeah. Your sister wasn't over it, and we got to Christmas, and I spent Christmas... I'm not surprised six days later. No, I spent Christmas night at your house, and um, you did the gift-giving and everything like that, and you get... (laughs) Was it armbands, a life raft? Yeah, John hands me a box and goes, (laughs) open this, and you need to open it in order. So I'm like, right, open the first thing. And it's an inflatable raft <laughs> with like a sexy man on the back as the back piece. I'm like, right. The second thing is a self-inflating raft where you pull a cord and it inflates. <laughs> and the third thing is tow ropes. <laughs> I love that. I mean, he's got such a great sense of humour. Yeah. It was I'm amazing. glad I didn't get them a bag of rice and a Hot Wheels Land Rover. Oh my God, yeah. Sam would have punched she me. She would have punched you. Your sister at Christmas is the funniest thing I've ever seen. With the uggs. With, with the, the uggs. Ug- with the ugg slippers. With the snug slippers. <laughs> My sister-in-law. She was not happy. She didn't even get them. I know. Honestly. Um, so, yeah, I wrote off my car six days before Christmas. But you have a lovely, beautiful Audi now. I've got a lovely, beautiful Audi now that the insurance paid for. Mm. Quite impressive, to be honest. And I think if you could, you'd live in that Audi. I would, because it's got heated seats and my tush. You've not experienced the cooled seats in the summertime yet. I don't want a cold seat. I want a hot. I want my bum to always Even when it's be, like 40 degrees outside. I want outside. my bum warm and my face cold. Even in the summer? Well, it depends on the summer. 40 degrees? No, absolutely not. I I'm going to be enjoying my ice cold seats. I won't be, I won't be leaving the house. <laughs> I will be turning oh, my air conditioning be, on I've in here. I've got to be in the office when I'm my new job. Oh yeah, you've got to go into an office five days. What else has happened? So we'll work in chronological order here. So I wrote off my car. I, we had Christmas in a year. I bought a new car. Birthday. Birthday. My birthday. Your birthday. Yeah. We did. We did. Oh, we, did we went to the spa. spa. We did a spa day, didn't we? We did. I turned 36 I've, this it, year. I'd never realised that you don't understand a spa. No, I don't. <laughs> And I didn't like that lady either. I don't like many people. Oh my God, you did not <laughs> like that lady. She was fucking rude. I don't think she was. I think she was rude. She didn't even look at us when she was talking to us. Rude. It was. I realised you didn't understand the spa when we walked into the steam room and tried to have a whole conversation out loud. <laughs> so blah, 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 rah, 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 in a in a steam room full of people. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, spa voices, Holly, spa voices. I didn't know you had to have spa voices. <laughs> I, you, you didn't tell me this afterwards either. You've literally, this is new information for have me. Have I not told you this? No. Are you not meant to have a conversation with the people that you're with? No. That's, that seems That's like, not spa etiquette. That, that it's definitely seems, not spa etiquette in the South. That seems made up to me. I have confabbed seems, with many people since this. Have you actually? Yep. <laughs> Who? My entire family. Well, did you tell them Holly, doesn't, Holly, Holly doesn't know? Oh, no, because I, I thought I thought we ta- I thought we talked about this. No, we've oh, not. Well, I'm so sorry. Well, now I feel talked about. Well, okay. So, so I'm not meant to have a conversation with you, the person that I'm going with to spa, which my mum got us, by the way. She did. That was very it was, nice. It was. It was beautiful. We had three Loved treatments. Loved that hot didn't tub. We? 
Yes. It was burning my eyes a bit. There was a couple of Smashbox as well. <gasps> well, and you kept going, he's Irish. I don't think <laughs> but he, he was. was. I don't think he was. Well, he was just he was... wearing green and he was ginger. <laughs> <laughs> little leprechaun he was tall for a leprechaun he was <laughs> he was very pasty faced <clears throat> well i had a fantastic time with my loud conversation i feel very attached however right now. i can't no that was in the sauna we went into that steam room i, I lasted 20 down. seconds i went no i'm not here i'm actually glad because i was gonna go should we go because it fucking stunk of old man balls <laughs> I don't smell very many old men balls. So <laughs> take it from someone who knows. Really? <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. you just give me that. Well, it's gonna be interesting because me and Jay are going to a spa um, in a few weeks, so he's quite old. <laughs> <laughs> he's only three years older than you. Four older years older than, than me. You. Older three than years older than you. Four. He's not forty. He's forty this year. In December. This year. <laughs> so that still makes him 39. And I've just turned 36. So he's four, he's four years older. No. <laughs> <laughs> Three years and 11 months. So what else did we do four for your years. birthday? Um, we did other things, didn't we? Did we go out? We went to lunch. Where did we go? TGI Fridays. Oh, we did. We did, and that was delightful. What else did... I had the oh, ribs. Oh, we went shopping. I'm never doing that again. Oh, I'm not a shopper. I'm never <laughs> shopping. I wanted to go. <laughs> because you always sound like you really enjoy it. I you know love shopping. I'm a great shopping buddy. Not with me. I'm a great shopping buddy, buddy with John, I'm... with Jay, my mother, Sam. All people who have extra money disposable income i am skint at the moment because you wanted to go to gerald's because i wanted to see what the fuss was about you were not impressed i was not impressed i should have taken you to phoenix D- nope don't know what that is okay but well, you will never know either rude and then we were walking by the cafe and you went it smells of fish in here <laughs> yeah holly it's sunday there's the fish option where well, it smells of fish <laughs> And then we started walking toward the cafe. What's that smell? <laughs> I think I turned around and headed for the lift. <laughs> you literally just left me. Oh, Actually, no, what I did was, isn't this candle nice? I didn't even smell it. <laughs> I just put it in front of you. you. You took me in the white company shop and I hated you, it in there. I turned around and you were gone. I, I went to pay for my purchases. Went to turn around as I'm having a lovely conversation with the girls behind the till. I was outside waiting because I had a headache from being in there for three minutes. How people work in that shop is beyond me. Well, personally, I love it. Oh, it's overpowering. And not the only did smell. I get a great discount in their sale, I then got a further discount at the till because I'm a member. Fabulous. So what should have been £60 was, was it 20 18 that, that candle's now gone. Yeah, well, mm. it was three months ago. Two months ago. Mm. It was a lovely Amalfi lemon. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't really like that one. Do you want it? What big, thanks. No, it's nice. It's just not very strong. No, I'm okay, thank you. I'm moving house and need to limit everything. Thank you, anyway. Okay, so we had your birthday. Mm-hmm. I got made redundant. You got made redundant. Sorry, I went through the redundancy process. Yeah. Um, and then I started looking for jobs, didn't I? Um, yes. Went for some interviews. Got told um, you were overqualified for a couple of interviews. Like three of them overqualified. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. But I get that a lot as well. Uh, they're saying to me, you're overqualified. Yeah. Bear in mind, I have no qualifications. <laughs> like, I have, I have no qualifications. Yeah. Um, I think I have a... a like obviously my GCSEs and a couple of A levels. Yeah, I do not have a degree. I do not have a degree. I have a degree I, that means nothing. Yeah, I've got. Um, to be fair, it's actually a chemistry degree, but I've got an EA certificate, some IT certificates. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. It's because we're just too overqualified, Holly. I, I'm for companies that sit there and like we need 10 years experience in this and then you're like you're over and you need a master's in this and a fucking what i learned 
and I will give you all this wisdom. Lay it on me. Lay it on you. Is when you're looking for a job, eat, go and apply to as many jobs as you can. It doesn't matter. Do you remember Tailor that job that I applied, applied to that was like 200 grand a year? I did that one as well. <laughs> I didn't expect to get... I got I got a thingy back, didn't I, as well? Um, I got a very nice email back. <laughs> so, <laughs> apply to them. Apply above it. Yeah. Because you never know. Even if it says you need a degree, apply anyway. Yeah. Right? And then when... But make sure you've got a cover letter. Make sure that your CV's tailored. And yeah. then when you get to an interview, go to the interview and do it. Even if you don't really want the job, do it. Yeah. Because it's all experience to get yeah. you to the next job. To get you to the job that you actually want. Or you're actually really interested in preach um just do it experience does yeah. your new company want to advertise with us <laughs> no probably not why um they've, they've, they've got enough advertisement and they they do government contracts so. i don't on their instagram i don't think they'll like the tone of what we talk about. <laughs> why I we're giving do. advice <laughs> unqualified on <laughs> advice and we could get britain back to work too I'm working for a recruitment company is what you need to know. That's it. Um, um, yeah. So, so you've left, you're leaving me. Yeah. I'm devastated. Yeah. It's not like I'm not going to see I you. I could though. cry at the drop of a hat. I've got to come back down sort my house out every weekend for the next month. Um, and then after that, it'll be, we see each other maybe once every six weeks for, or something like that, isn't it? Don't be sad. Don't be sad. It's fine. I'm not dealing with it very well. So I'm just, avoidance is my key at the minute. So. Moves in a day and a half. Hmm? Moves in a day and a half. (laughs) Two, three days. Today, tomorrow, Thursday, three days. I don't think we count today. Well, we're still on today, so I'm counting it. Okay. (laughs) Three calendar days. Mm. Two and a half calendar days. You're being very specific now and I'm not a fan. So I've got the next two days off to pack what I need to take with me, organise everything that's in my house. So I'm ready to leave. Have we worked out what we're doing with the podcast? Uh, We're doing bedtime bants, which hopefully... Oh, yeah, we actually need to announce that because in the last episode that everyone would have heard, we didn't... We talked a lot about it. We didn't actually say what it was. Oh. We never actually... We were like... We, well, we didn't actually say what it was. Well, welcome, guys, because we're going to introduce our new feature, our new show. We have a new show coming out. We do, and it's really exciting. I think it's really exciting. I think it's really... I think this is the perfect transition from this format mm. to a more multimedia mm. stylized format. Yes, agree. So, love, love we have of some it. of our most funniest, delirious... hilarious random random conversations late at night before we go to bed because we facetime regularly like Uh, uh, regularly need i get my call list up let me get the receipts no no, because i'm not going to be top of that list am i um, you are going to be top of that list actually Mm, and i think you'll find you have the first one two three four five you have the you have the first top five spots in my call history. I'm not number three. No, you're not number three, but you're number four. Mm. You're number seven. I'm number one. That's and you're number nine. I'm number one. I have a lot of people to speak to in a day, okay? Hmm. That's just today and yesterday. So what is this feature? So Because we, you went on to that and then you did digress. <laughs> I did digress. So our new show is a FaceTime between Holly and I once a week, with a big asterisk next to it, (laughs) and it is called Bedtime Bants. Bedtime Bants. And basically, you're going to see us in our natural state. (laughs) You're going to see us after we've washed our faces, everything's come... Do you not? I take everything off. I'm in bed. I am as naked as the day is born. I will have washed my face, but I'll have eyebrows and I will have <laughs> lashes on. I mean, everything will still be nobody, well groomed. Nobody needs to see my little piggy <laughs> eyes. No one. No one needs to see me squinted at the screen with my three chins going, you're right, Harry. <laughs> now, if I've been like clever enough, you're about to hear a clip of like an introduction to that show. <laughs> 
Dear listener, are you sick and tired of not hearing from your favourite podcasters because they've taken three-month breaks in the middle of a season to work on their quote-unquote mental health, come back for one episode and then take another unexpected three-month break? Well, so are we. So we've decided to create an entirely new show called Bedtime Bants, our new video show on Instagram, Spotify and YouTube. Some of our most hilarious conversations happen late at night when we're a little bit delirious and we've had enough of the day. So once again we thought, why not let the rest of the world see just how batshit crazy we are? And since Holly has decided to divorce me and move back up north, this is a great way for us to continuously bring you our most hilarious conversations. So, tune in very soon for brand new episodes on Instagram, Spotify and YouTube of Bedtime Bants. All of the information is in the link tree in the show notes below. And if we're just continuing on, I've not done that. <laughs> I love, I love the preempt. Well oh, what a great clip that was! Amazing. Okay, let's do a couple of outcomes here. Holly, doesn't that sound really exciting? Oh my god, it sounds great! I, well done, you. Thanks. And take two. So anyway. Yes. Um, so that is bedtime bands. That is what we're going to be. Um, and that is coming right doing. at you soon. There's already been a couple of pre like clips out on the social meds. Yeah. You didn't put the one of me talking about me shaving my nails, did you? I deleted it. Oh, thank God. Six minutes. <laughs> of you talking about your nails. And even, I even remember <laughs> us recording it. And I'm thinking, wrap it up. Wrap it up. <coughs> Honestly, I just talk shit. Just talk shit about my nails. But I'm fed up of doing it, that's why. Right, Holly keeps shaving her nail off. <laughs> no, I keep shaving it, but it's like cutting into your nail. Yeah, so Bedtime Bands is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be some, it's going to be a mashup of like topics that we talk about. You're not going to see the whole conversation, are you? Or no. If, no. So because... I think that first episode, so it's going live. Let's Let's tell everyone where it's going live. It's going to be a video show on Spotify Yay. that you'll be able to watch free. You don't even need a Spotify subscription. Oh, fabulous. You can watch that on your phone. You don't even have to watch it. You can listen to it. You can watch it on your smart TV, anywhere where you get Spotify, basically. You don't have to watch it, but we'd love it if you did. You can just listen to it. It's great as a podcast. You can also find that on the YouTube, which I don't believe the kids are doing these days, but... Is it on YouTube? It will be on YouTube, oh. yeah. Um, and it will also be on Instagram. Do you remember? Do you remember? When I- Holly's actually sat up and leaned in. <laughs> She's got very close. I don't like it. Do you remember when I said I was taking over marketing and media? And what's happened with that? Somehow I've taken on more work. Somehow I've managed to create yet another show. Still do all the marketing and branding for it. I even did the branding. <laughs> the branding the marketing all i did was the name yeah and and you said to me and it was a massive thing you were like you're you've got this new position where you're going to be social media direct you're going to be doing all of the social media and i'm like that's because you made this grand statement to me about you doing this and i went absolutely i'm going to put all my effort into it holly what have you done for it you even have access to the fucking canva account fuck all i've done nothing I've done nothing. You have had a lot going on. To be fair, I've had some major life changes very, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Even though we came (laughs) up with the concept in December. (laughs) And actually, it might have even been early in that. I sound like dastardly a lot of the minute going. (laughs) Muttley. Same person. Yeah. 18th of December is when I did the original intros i love that though love it and you did so good on it well done you don't you try and blow smoke up my ass to absolve <laughs> yourself of this situation i feel like i'm going to post like a carousel of pictures on instagram of the last few months <laughs> as long as the purple haired dinosaur doesn't come in to it at all do not do not circulate that image i will be so mad no, i don't even know where it is good The heavy breathing got me. You were like, it was like you're in a horror movie and you're just like I going, was in shock. <gasps> I think I was in shock because I was cold. It was so cold. But I was also in shock because I've just crashed my car. My favourite bit of all of this, all of the, the whole The fact saga. that I wrote off six figures worth of car. No. 
plural. No, the, my favourite bit was you sending me a video of the, your car at the garage that you received <gasps> and then revving the engine and water, water after a stream of water coming so out of your exhaust. I, so some friends were able to tow my car to a garage that fateful night. And we, we're, night. we're friends with the guys at the garage. And so, bless them, they tried to do what they could. And they were able to get the car on. They mm. were able to turn it on. But for an hour straight, every time, or not even every time, there was just water coming out of the exhaust. And then when they tried to rev the engine, it would just, like, jet stream out of that fucking exhaust. Hilarious. For an hour. Hilarious. I didn't want the car anymore. This is a very long episode. Well, it's been a very long time since they've heard from us. No. Have we got anything else to fill them in, apart from the fact that we're divorcing? We're not divorcing. We're You're just, divorcing this county. We're just going to be a long distance friendship. I would likely, I, I would likely, I would like to quickly touch upon the fact that we had a day out together where it all started, basically. Last week, last week, week before. And we the went Felix to the beach. Day. Oh, when we did the photos. And we did loads of photos. I but did I post photos. them already? I think I did, didn't I? Um, I think you did a then and now, which is basically five years. And it would have been yeah. around about the same time that we went to Felix, though, to do it. It was like three days apart from f- like five years ago. I got very, very upset with a claw machine. <laughs> can I post that picture? <laughs> yes, you can. I was very mad. Right claw machines and i know they're fixed because i come from a i come from a seaside town i know <coughs> right i know that the arcades are fixed i know that you have to spend a certain amount of money before the claw actually grabs onto something it's normally about 20 quid i'm aware how much did you spend we're not going to talk about that okay we're going to talk about it i still didn't win eeyore and eeyore was side-eyeing me he the really whole was. time and all i wanted was a nice little eeyore for my little girl i could have gone out and bought one I could have gone out and bought one. You could have gone out and bought three with the money you spent. I didn't spend that much on that machine. I love the life-sized hungry, hungry hippos. (laughs) Which is actually for like age five. Uh, No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stand for that because I had a fantastic time. We were so good at that water shooting game. (laughs) What we we were not good at was the basketball. No, we were not good at that. No, we were not good at basketball. No. <coughs> but what But the shooting zombies. The shooting zombies. Was with it the, zombies? Yeah, with the with the real water guns. Fabulous. We were fucking brilliant at we that. We were, we were. I got so, a B. And then I gave all the tickets away, didn't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, to some child. Some couple of kids. Yeah. I honestly, life size hungry hungry hippos. Love. I've seen it all. I love that. I was I so really aggressive with it as well. Yeah, I was because I wanted to win. Yeah, you did win as well. <laughs> I was determined to win. Me and old yellow. Was I on the green one? Yeah. yeah. I was it the was, yellow hippo. It was a very good day. It was a bit, and then we had a lovely lunch day. by the water. We did. Um, up to, a little bit of a teary cry. And then didn't we get drunk at your house? Yeah. Yeah. Standard Saturday. Oh, and I figured out I don't like expensive champagne, but I do like a Lanson. And I knew you would like Lanson. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, so I like a Lanson. Well, yeah. And that's pretty much it for now, I think. Yeah, that's... In terms of update. If we remember anything else, we'll update you on the next episode. Um, whenever... When's that going to be? Well, <laughs> I'm down every weekend for the next however long. So yeah. we can always figure something out because I will be staying with you. My Duh. mother is going to be here for one night of that. Is that the 20th? Nope. 15th. It's in my diary. 16th. It's in my diary. Yeah. So I'm going to be... I'm out on the 20th something, that's why. I just saw it in my diary. <laughs> With his other friends. <laughs> I don't have We don't friends. like... <laughs> yeah, you do. You have Kanye. <laughs> oh, I, I, my friend came um, from London yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you literally were like, let her know I'm your friend. <laughs> I was like, you weren't responding to me and I was like, <laughs> she's there. <laughs> we were in Stomach when you were in Stomach and you were so upset that you weren't I was, invited. <laughs> I was upset I wasn't invited given that I was four doors down and didn't realise. <laughs> I know, I didn't even realise. I was in it. Greg's getting a sausage roll. No, we weren't. And four donuts that he ate. <coughs> Jealous. They were full of jam. And I mean, even to the point where I put them on the seat next to me 
I think we went over a bump and I just saw a bit of jam go bloop. <laughs> Not on my heated seat. No, in the actual packet. Okay. So you think I would l- allow <laughs> uh, that donuts. on... You think loose I would donuts. Loose everywhere. donuts on my beautiful leather seats <laughs> and my lovely OD. <laughs> no, I do not. Anyway, let's end it there because otherwise yeah. they're going to be listening to us and getting bored. Um, I don't think our people get bored. Our people. Because they're about to get a double whammy from us on the social meds with bedtime bants and from this format. Not from me. <laughs> Who else am I going to be doing bedtime bands with? No, I mean, you're doing the social media. I'm not uh, doing it. <laughs> I was going to I thought you meant you were like leaving and I was like, who would I replace you with? Nobody can replace me. Correct. I'm irreplaceable. Go ahead and get gone. <laughs> anyway. I'm very surprised I've not cried on this episode and I feel like it's because you saw it coming. I said, I've said anyway, any we, any <laughs> anyway, me? about 58 times now. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say thank you I for coming I am going to say goodbye and I'm going to say goodbye to you as well. No, no, no. Because. No, get the fuck away from me. No. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm, because I'm not do- no. our friendship mm. has nothing to do with distance. Oh, she's leaving. I'm not doing it. Do, do not. Do not do that to me. No. What is the ending? I can't even. Thanks for listening. Thank you ever so much for. Thank you ever so much for listening. Follow us on everything, and we'll see you later. I love you. She's mad. I'm not. I'm not crying. No. I didn't want to make you cry. No, you would. Bye. <laughs>